So there's um, muscles within and around and underneath your foot also that uh, for articulating your toes and articulating your foot, your whole foot can articulate, turning it in, turning it out. That's a lot of ankle movement, but there's a lot of foot movement happening there. There's just a ton of muscles in your foot. And wearing shoes, we lose a lot of the ability to grip with our feet. It just kind of becomes a flat foot. And uh, so a lot of those muscles um, are not super coordinated like they would, let's say, if you were a monkey. Like, I mean, it's better that we have shoes than monkeys, but monkeys have more articulation. They get their everything going on there. Okay, so the muscles, the individual little muscles inside your foot get a little weaker. And then, maybe later in life, you start loading the foot a lot because you stand for 11 hours at your job. And so, uh, overstretching. So this would be like I'm thinking of an example. Um, let's say somebody that wasn't strong enough to do a pull-up, but they were strong enough to hang from a pull-up bar. And so they just hung there because they were strong enough to, but they're not strong enough to cinch their shoulder into the socket. So they're just hanging on the shoulder. Eventually, they're going to develop something in the shoulder that uh, likely is going to really originate at the attachment point. And so with plantar fasciitis, you get the attachment of the connective tissue to the bone. It's constantly being pulled, 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 pulled. And, um, and then so you'll have, like I said in the last class, you'll get some preferential bone deposition around there. And so there's going to be a lot of aggravation around. It's not a smooth surface now. It's not connecting to a smooth surface. Eventually, plantar fasciitis could develop what's called a heel spur. And so what you'll have is weak, weak, relatively weak muscles that is just, it's not your fault. It's just wearing shoes all your life or not. I walk barefoot so much. I walk outside barefoot. And sometimes if I walk outside barefoot for a long time, I'll have those symptoms because my feet are not, I'll, however much I walk barefoot are not strong enough to walk barefoot that much. And Shoes alleviate that. As soon as I put on shoes, then the pain goes away. But if I were to walk long, long distances in shoes, eventually I'd have that. And then I would need something else, heel support or art support or something. So the solution is to strengthen and yoga poses will naturally do that. Now, I don't know, you've probably been doing yoga a couple years or a year or something and uh, standing poses and having some awareness of Am I pressing more on the outer foot, the inner foot, the front of the foot, back of the foot? Am I gripping with my toes? And whatever you're doing with the foot down, keep that as I move the ankle. So don't allow the foot to come forward just because the ankle or the shin went forward. I, whatever that contact is, let's say that my entire universe was, there was like a, a lens underneath my hand and it was looking at where is the pressure. It was like a pressure plate or something. That pressure plate should not be able to detect that my upper body's moving. You get that? The pressure just stays constant, and then that becomes the fixed point, and everything else moves around it. That's going to fix it. And so that's just something to keep in mind if we do some standing poses. A really great self-massage for the foot is to take the top. You have a bone at the top of your foot, and you take the top of the foot and take it into the sole of the other foot, and then you kind of sit on it. Now I can work my top leg. I, I use my other hand because I don't want all my weight like on my, then it's a balancing trick. But so I'm leaning kind of on my other foot and I'm using the top of my foot to find, find good spots there. There's a lot of good spots on it right in front of the heel. Are y'all feeling it? Yeah. And you're really close to the toes. So there's stuff, there's good stuff there behind the, the big toe, you know, work it. Find the outer foot, the inner foot, really explore.